when we were drafting the first version of the NVGs. This was 2009, and as you know, the, finally the product was released two years later. And this was even before the UNGPs were officially released. And we're very happy that Principle 5 was an entire principle devoted to human rights and that our government and Ministry of Corporate Affairs and all the businesses and others that participated uh, recognized this forthcoming development and took steps to put that principle into the NBGs. I think in the exercise that we're now seeing, uh, five years have passed since the national voluntary guidelines were released and there have been a number of issues. I think one is that although they, were, they remain voluntary guidelines, the fact of the matter is that agencies like SEBI have acted upon the NVGs and, for example, taken elements of the reporting framework, which it has made mandatory for non-financial reporting for listed companies. With regards to the human rights agenda, now that um, the business and human rights UNGPs are in final form and been available, I think that the task before us with the particular principle we're looking at is to add specific um, sections that are there in the UNGPs and modify principle number five. But even more than that, I think there's a view amongst the drafting committee and the people we are in conversation with that there will be a significant shift in the sense that there will be a call to the board of companies to pay attention to new issues such as human rights as well as others. And, and this is a, so I think what you'll see is an updated version in line with um, international developments and national developments in human rights legislation. And you will see this reflected in the reporting framework. You'll see this reflected in the call that we will be making to boards of companies to personally, as a board, look at these governance-related issues.